Hi everyone, Mrs G back again with a working out change. This is little lesson two, working out change from 30p and 40 pence, giving the change back in pennies and 10p's. And change is when we get a little money back because we've given the shopkeeper too much money. Okay, are you ready? Let's go over what we learned last time. So when we buy things from the shop and we buy something that is less than the value of the coin we have, the shopkeeper gives us some money back. This is called change. We can count up from the cost of the item we are buying to the largest number. This is called finding the difference. If I buy something that costs four pence and pay with a 10 pence coin, what is the difference between the two numbers? Okay, so if we start at four pence, five pence, six pence, seven pence, eight pence, nine pence, 10 pence. I gave the shopkeeper six pennies too much, so I would get six P change back. Okay, let's go shopping. How much change would I get back if I buy a teddy that costs eight pence using a 20p coin? So let's count up to 10p in pennies from eight pence and then add that 10p to get to 20 because 10 add 10 always makes 20. So let's work out the pennies first. So eight pence, nine pence, 10 pence, but we didn't give the shopkeeper 10 pence, we gave him 20p, so he would give me 10 more pence. So that is one 10p and two pennies, I would get 12 pence change back, okay. What about if I bought a crocodile that cost 5p with a 20p coin? How much change would we get back then? How many pennies would he give us back first? Let's get to 10p from 5p in pennies and then add a 10p to get back to 20 quicker than we did before. So 5p, 6p, 7p, 8p, 9p, 10p, that's 5p and 10 pence gives us 15 pence change. Well done. Okay, let's buy a toy that costs 9p with a 20 pence coin. How much change will we get back now? So 9p, add 1p is 10p, and we need to add the 10 to get back to 20, and that would be 11 pence change, wouldn't it? Well done. What if I want to buy a car that costs 2p with a 20p coin? How much change will we get back now? How many pennies does it take to get from 2p to 10p? And then we need to give a 10p back, don't we, to make it up to 20. So 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p, 7p, 8p, 9p, 10p and another 10p makes 20 pence and we've got one 10p and one two three four five six seven eight pennies that is 18 pence change okay your turn to have a little thing now don't worry if you find it too hard you can always do it with me i don't mind so if we buy sweets that cost 6p with a 20p coin how much change will we get back will it be 15 pence change 14 pence change four pence change or six pence change. Remember, we've got to do two things here. We've got to give some pennies back to get from 6p to 10p, and then we've got to get give a 10p back, haven't we, to get from 10 pence to 20 pence quickly. So the answer is 14 pence. Let me show you why. So let's give the pennies first. 6p, 7p, 8p, 9p, 10p, and 10 add another 10p makes 20p. So you would get 14 pence change. Well done if you knew the answer. Okay, we've got 20 pence again and we're buying a chocolate bar that's eight pence. How much change do you think we'll get back? Will we get two pence change back? 10 pence change back? 12 pence change back? Or 11 pence change back? Think about the steps. How many pennies get me from 8p to 10p and then add a 10p to get me back to 20? And the answer is 12 pence change. Let me show you why. So 8p, 9p, 10p and 10 add 10 is 20. So I would get 12 pence change. Okay, let's buy a toy train with a 20 pence coin and the 20 pence coin is too much money because the train is four pence. How much change will I get back? Will I get 18 pence back? 12 pence back, 14 pence back, or 16 pence back. So how many pennies get me from 4p to 20, to 10p, sorry, and then a 10p to get me to 20p? And the answer is 16 pence change. Let's see why. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it took me 6 pennies to get to 10p, and 10p add 10p is 20p. So I would get 16 pence change. Okay, 
This time we've got 30 pence and the jigsaw costs 18p. So how many pennies get us back from 18 to 20 and then give the 10p back? Okay, are you ready? Would we get 11 pence change back, 2 pence change back, 12 pence change back or 13 pence change back? 18p, add how many gets you to 20 pennies and then give me a 10p back. And the answer is 12 pence change. Not sure? Let me show you. So 18p, 19p, 20p, 20 add 10, it's 30 pence, 12p change. Okay, we've got 30p again and we're buying a car that costs 14 pence. How much change will we get back? Will we get 10 pence change back? 12 pence change back, 16 pence change back, or 6 pence change back. So how many pennies get me from 14p to 20p, and then I need to add a 10p to get from 20p to 30p. Pause the video if you need more time. And the answer is 16 pence change. Let me show you why. So we've got 14p, 15p, 16p, 17p, 18p, 19p, 20p, and 20 add 10 is 30, 16p change. Okay, we've got 30 pence again, and we're buying beans that are 11 pence. How much change will we get back? Will we get 19 pence change back? 15 pence change back? 18 pence change back? Or 13 pence change back? So step one, how many pennies will we get back to get me from 11p to 20p and then I need a 10 pence to get me from 20p to 30p. Think you've got it? The answer is 19 pence. Let me show you why. So let's give the pennies back first. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's nine pennies and 20 add 10 is 30. So that's 19 pence change. Okay. Still got 30p, we're going to buy a rocking horse that costs 19 pence. How much change will I get back? Will I get 13 pence change back, 16 pence change back, 11 pence change back, or 18 pence change back? How many pennies get me from 19p to 20p? And then I need a 10p back to get me from 20p to 30p, don't I? The answer is 11 pence change. Let me show you why. 19p, 20p, and 20 add 10 is 30. Well done. Okay, this time we've got 40 pence and we learned in class that 20 add 20 always makes 40 pence. Okay, how much change are we going to get back now? So now we need to count in one piece to get from 17 to 20 and then count in 10 piece to get from 20 back to the 40 pence we started with. Okay, so will we get 13 pence change back, 23 pence change back, 21 pence change back, or 25 pence change back. So 17p, 18p, 19p, 20p, how many pennies is that? And then 20p, 30p, 40p, how many, 20, how many 10p's is that? And the answer is 23p change. Let me show you why. 17p, 18p, 19p, 20p, 20 add 10 is 30p, add another 10 is 40p. Okay, so we will get 23 pence back. Don't worry if this is a little bit tricky. We're going to be covering this more after half term. Okay, we've got 40p again and the crisps cost 16 pence. So we need some pennies back to get us to 20 pence and then some 10 p's back to get me from 20 pence back to 40 pence. So what do you think? How much change do you think we'll get back? Do you think we'll get 28 pence back? 26 pence back? 14 pence back? or 24 pence back. So how many pennies get me from 16 to 20? How many 10 p's get me from 20 p to 40 p? And the answer is 24 p change. Let me show you why. 16 p, 17 p, 18 p, 19 p, 20 p. Let's add a 10 p to get from 20 to 30. Let's add another 10 p to get me from 30 to 40. 24 p change, well done. Last one, you're doing a really, really good job. Okay, I've made a mistake, haven't I? Because we've not got 30 p, we've got 40 p. See, even Mrs G makes mistakes. Let's work it out. So, the boat costs 15 p and I've given the shopkeeper 40 p. How much change will I get back? Will I get 22 pence change back? 
15 pence change back, 20 pence change back, or 25 pence change back. So how many pennies get me from 15p to 20p, and how many 10p's get me from 20p to 40 pence? Okay, pause the video if you need more time. Think you've got it? The answer is 25 pence change. Let me show you why. So 15p, 16p, 17p, 18p, 19p, 20p, that's 5p. 5 pennies, 20p, add 10 is 30p, add 10 is 40 pence. Leave me a like if you understood some of this and come back as many times as you need to. Bye for now.